Virginia's gubernatorial vote is just four days away, and the race is ending in a really ugly way. Earlier this week, the Latino Victory Fund released and then pulled an ad that attacks Republican Ed Gillespie's voters as racists who want to murder children. Democrat Ralph Northam's campaign has tried to distance itself from the ad, which is self-evidently disgusting. But not everyone agrees with that. LaDawn Jones was a Democratic member of the Georgia House of Representatives. She says that spot is perfectly defensible. She joins us tonight. LaDawn, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me back, Tucker. So I guess what bothers me about the ad, I mean, it's clearly race baiting, um, but it's also factually untrue. There are no... Gillespie voters that I'm aware of who have run anyone down with a truck. This ad is only designed to play upon people's racial fears, and it's hard to see how anyone could defend it. How could you? Well, I find it interesting that you've managed to poll all of the Gillespie voters to find out what they do in their private time. But, you know, as a political consultant, no, 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 I, I read the put papers. this ad up. A, ha, wait, hold on. Has a Gillespie voter run down a minority child with a truck ever? I mean, I... Do you know something I Do don't? Do you know that? I know here in Georgia, there was just a woman convicted and given 30 years because she did go to an African-American child's party with her Confederate flag flying on her truck, and they drove in circles, as they called them, the N-word. So that happens. Well, it awful. happened in that, 2017, no, but, okay, but, but and it on, happened to me Th in the early 2000s. Not, look, I'm, look, the awful things happen, for sure, and I never deny that. But this is a political ad in a governor's race aimed at a specific candidate and his voters, and there's no evidence that anything it suggests is true. There are no Gillespie voters who've done this. By the way, we just had a kind of mirror image of this in New York City this week where a radical Muslim ran down people in a truck. One of the reasons they pulled this ad. Do you see any irony in that? What I do see the most irony in is that in America, you can look at what happened in New York as terrorism, but when we talk about Charlottesville in Virginia, where this race is going on, you pretend like that's not terrorism, as if that man with the Confederate flag on his always, car yeah. did not run over the poor okay. woman, Heather Hayden. Well, you know, I, so that, I'm that's not, part first of all, the problem I've heard, wait, that we hold have. So, so slow down. I don't know who you're talking about. I would never defend that. It's appalling. He should, I think that is a kind of terrorism. I mean, it, of course, it, it, it evoked terror in people. No one's defending that, certainly not on this show. But the point is, but this is a political But you're saying that this is ad. a non-realistic act? And in what America, what you is, have to understand what I'm saying is, is you're that there are Americans who are really a fan of this. Okay, but hold on. This ad is designed to win votes for a candidate away from another candidate, to terrify people. And the ad says, this guy supports running down minority children. And that's a lie. And it's the worst kind of racial demagoguery because it's preying upon people's fears. It's the kind of thing the left is always denouncing. Oh, it's racial demagoguery. Here you have an example of racial demagoguery, and you're endorsing it. Why? Well, you know what else that the right does? The right always says, we don't have time to be politically correct. Well, let me tell you what's not what's I'm something not that's not that. politically correct in America. In America, there are Americans who are as afraid of someone running them over with a Confederate flag as they are of radical Islamic terrorism. Well, sure and instead true. of running from this and shaming it, you need to say, you know what, this is an uglier part of American history. And whether it has to do with Ed Gillespie or not, I don't know. But I know it's a reality well, here what, in Georgia. What, what, I know it's my ad, reality well, when I was a down. child. Okay, okay, first of all, you don't have a separate reality from anybody else. Reality exists independent of your I think views you have a separate reality. No, no, look, reality exists. Because you're not exists. recognizing what America is showing right now. I don't have a philosophical conversation with you. I just want to make the point that there's this ad accuses somebody specific, Ed Gillespie, of a specific crime that neither he nor his voters have committed. Therefore, it is a lie. But more than that, it is bad precisely for the reasons you just explained. People are scared. This makes them more scared on the basis of a lie. Therefore, it's demagoguery. It brings us farther apart. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Poor Tucker, what you don't realize is that without this ad, there were already Americans who were afraid of this reality. This ad just depicts that. And the fact that you're running from it and trying to fight that is the problem with America. It's the problem with Republicans. This is something that we are so truly I afraid of. In the same lie, way you are. Therefore, I'm part of the problem? I'm totally confused. Is there an Ed Gillespie supporter yes. who's done this? Who? Yes, there is. You part of the problem because not because you're objecting to a lie but because you want to turn this into a lie you want to turn it into as if charlottesville never happened but you want to pretend about as charlottesville. if white it, not, it, it it actually it is this is virginia this is a governor's race in virginia this is ed exactly gillespie. about charlottesville what did that have to do with ed gillespie it I, has I mean, to I'm, do. Look, I'm trying to be reasonable. I'm not sure you're capable of it, but I'm trying to walk through this slowly and ask you, how does what happened in Charlottesville relate to Ed Gillespie? Why is he responsible for it? I mean, maybe I'm too literal. Maybe I'm like caught in, you know, ancient you're way linear too, no, thinking. No, you're trying here. to be literal. And you know why you're trying to be literal? You're trying to be literal because you don't want to recognize that there are white people in America ca that can be as bad and worse terrorists as the Muslim terrorists that are here. And you're defending this ad, not because it has anything to do with Ed Gillespie. You could care less about Ed Gillespie. What you're you hater. care about is what no. it depicts. You want to show that the Confederate flag is a part of our heritage. I salute I one never flag. Said anything. That's the American okay. flag. Right. We're done. You're a deeply unreasonable person. I hope you never get near power.